I, I grew up here in Dallas, Texas. I spent three years in the military. I ended up getting out the military, moving to Houston, servicing all wells. Cocaine use, I'm, I'm willing to bet I blew hundreds and thousands of dollars. When an addiction has you, you don't even care about yourself, let alone somebody else. I was taking money out of my house, my rent. It was, it was to the point to where I, I, I think I got down like 120 pounds. I just didn't want to eat. I didn't want to do nothing but get high. I just happened to be over at my cousin's house one evening and he said, well, Danny, why don't you call the VA and see what they could do? And I called them and they say they had a program over in the Salvation Army, a two-year program that they could put me in and um, help me get on my feet. When I was thinking about coming over here to the Salvation Army, I didn't want to come up because of my pride. I don't want to be in no homeless shelter. I got here and this was a family. The Salvation Army, to me, was, was a tremendous help. Tremendous help. They fed me, clothed me, uh, gave me bus passes to go back and forth to work. I mean, well, go back and forth looking for work. The Salvation Army put me in a position to where I could focus on what I needed to focus on to get back on my feet. Not worrying about where I was gonna stay at night, I could calm down and get myself together and focus on what I needed to focus on, which was getting a job. And it took me 17 months, but I finally got a state job now. Um, I officially, I, I was part-time temp, but I, I, I am officially with the state starting yesterday. And uh, now I'm getting benefits. I've gotten my own place. And I feel good every morning when I get up and go to work. I had faith that God was going to get me back to where I needed to be. I haven't had a drink now in two years or more. Um, and all that has to do with the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army gave me, gave me my life back.